Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Joe Flint Show. We're here with Julian Flores, the director of Hicks Road. Before that, we're here, we're doing a four-part segment as well on Hicks Road. And we're here at the V-Bar at Santana Row, if you can't uh, realize where we're at, uh, because we're hiding. Uh, but I'm here with the director again, Julian Flores. Always a pleasure seeing him. And Julian, tell us about how you came up with the script for Hicks Road. How I came up with the script, oh boy. Um, I think it started about like six years ago. You know, just trying to figure out like the premise of everything and all that. I think it totally built up like after those six years. Then, then I started rolling with the script and it only took me about a month. So that was a pretty big accomplishment for me. So, <laughs> Which is awesome. And of course, uh, tell the people a little bit about the premise of Hicks Road. Um, what it's about mainly, it's uh, about urban legend in San Jose, uh, based on a lot of urban legends here and there and stuff, but uh, we basically got uh, the main ones going on and stuff like that. You know, we've been hearing like stuff, supposedly there's supposed to be albinos up there and stuff like that. And um, it's pretty much, uh, we kind of base it on the urban legend and we go from there. I can't really go into detail about it, but... <laughs> That's what it's all about, people. Uh, so tell me about the experiencing of casting this movie. Oh, the experience was, it, it was crazy. It was like, everything just came all together, like all of a sudden, you know, it's like, we took two days with a casting call and right off the bat, we already picked out everyone, what we wanted, and they totally fit the character. And I was really surprised with that. And uh, everything worked really well. It was really good. Yay, and of course, can you tell us who's in your cast? Um, who's in the cast? Uh, Shane Hennessy, uh, Jessica, Jennifer, Castaneda, Alberto. Um, they're all really good actors, and uh, hopefully they gave your information, their information out to you guys because they're really good actors, and uh, they got a lot of potential for their acting abilities. Yes, they do. And, uh I remember my nice fond moment with Jennifer, where I accidentally asked her where she worked. That was a no-no. Uh, yeah, I know. I was a bad host. <laughs> um, so uh, let's see. My one of my great questions was: uh, Any of the cast member been up on Hicks Road before they even f started filming this movie? Um. I believe Shane and Beto have. Shane, I think, mostly has been up there, and he he gave me a lot of his experiences and his input about Hicks Road and stuff. And uh, I definitely uh, got a lot of input from a lot of people about Hicks Road, and it's definitely uh, got in my mind, and I definitely implanted that in the movie. So that's a little teaser for you guys. <laughs> teaser, teaser alert. Do not, do not see this clip. Warning, warning, Will Robinson. Um, also, um, uh, before I get ready to turn it over to my beautiful and talented co-host, uh, I want you to plug your MySpace so anyone can check out the trailer or to contact you personally about when the movie and, you know, about the movie and everything so they can get a glimpse of this wonderful film. So here you go, Julian. Okay, it's uh, MySpace.com forward slash silent eye productions .com. I you know like the eye the human eye and we also have a website silent eye productions .com. you can check that out too and you know I'm looking for the best out of this movie the movie trailer looks great uh, you know hopefully everyone will get a chance to see this film when it comes out so don't mock me people this will be a great movie to check out so I want to thank Julian for being with us here on the Joe Blend Show. But we'll be seeing him more later on, uh, coming up in the next couple months, when uh, more stuff come popping up about Hicks Road that we can't tell you about right now. Because I'm going to go have my drink now on. And, uh, and while Julian drinks his red, red wine, his vampire juice, as he likes to call it, um, here on the Joe Blint Show. Again, I want to thank everyone from Hicks Road who's been on with us tonight. 
It's going to be a lot of fun. We're hoping you guys are going to enjoy this. And I'm about ready to turn it over to my beautiful and talented co-host, my happy birthday gal, Priscilla. Uh, so it's her birthday, everyone. So sh And Julian's birthday was uh, just a couple days ago. So happy birthday to Julian. Happy birthday to Julian and Priscilla. Happy birthday, you two. Happy birthday to you. No. So I'm going to turn it over to my beautiful and talented co-host, Priscilla. So I'm out of here for right now. So enjoy the rest of the interview with Julian Flores, director of X-Road. Hello, it is me, the co-host of the Joe Flynn Show, Priscilla. And I am here now in my presence is the director of Hicks Road, Julian Flores. Oh, welcome, Julian. Welcome and happy birthday. Coincidentally, we had a so, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Are you having fun tonight? Oh, yeah, I'm loving it. I have a good time right now. You know, friends, family are coming over here to support me and stuff. And, you know, just seeing everybody checking, checking this out and see what's going you know, what it's all about and stuff like that. It's very exciting. Okay, Julian, I got questions in my mind for you. The first one is, when did the fascination with horror all begin? You know, it started probably when I was like eight years old. Like I started just watching horror movies when I was a kid and it just totally developed everything like that. You know, the whole concept of it all and the scare tactics and stuff, I think it, definitely implanted into my head and stuff like that and uh, I think that's where it started when I was about eight years old and then it just kept on going after that. <laughs> Any movies off the top of your mind that scared the hell out of you? Well, I should say this because everybody's gonna crack up but I think the only movie that really freaked me out was Gremlins when I was a kid. I was about 10 years old and Gremlins like totally freaked me out. I thought they were underneath my bed or something like that. My parents were just like, oh my God, I can't believe, you know, what the heck are you doing? You know, you're freaking out, why? You know, so yeah, I think Grandma was like, it was like the only movie that really freaked me out when I was a kid. Well, that's understandable. I mean, they multiplied, they're fast moving. I mean, come on, they're yeah, tiny. Like guy, you know, like my hairdo, you know. <laughs> you were inspired. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely inspired, yeah. Now, what do you think your audience reaction is going to be when the film finally premieres? Um, it's definitely going to tease her mind a lot. It's, it's definitely going to tease her mind. It's going to twist her head a lot, especially when they get out of the theater. They're going to be like, you know, okay, is this really true or, or what? You know, they're going to really freak out. And I, I think that's, our, that's definitely our focal point of this movie is to get them when they're out of the theater. You know, when they check it out, they're gonna think, like, right when they get out there, they're gonna be like, oh my God, you know, what the heck is going on here, you know? Like, it's definitely gonna just have a whole mind twister thing, so it's gonna be, it's, it's awesome, I can't wait. I can't wait to show everybody. Nice, nice, and when did you first hear of Hicks Road? Oh, geez. I think probably when I was a kid, probably about 10 years old, I started hearing stuff about it. You know, I, I live around the area, and I have friends that live around the area as well. And uh, I just hear multiple stories about things and stuff like that. And I do actually have my own story about Hicks Road. I had my own experiences, but I can't tell you guys right now because it involves the movie. So definitely have that uh, part going on in that in that film. In, in, in my friend with me, I'm sorry. Yeah. So I know that you want to keep your personal experiences private right now, but I have to ask you, have you in your life ever gone up that road by yourself and walked around or at least driven? I'll, I'll tell you my experience. Like I was actually dared to go up there when I was a kid going up one of the trails. And uh, I can't really tell you what happened, you know, because it involves a movie. So. That's all I have to say about it, about my experiences. So it, does, it definitely incorporates with the movie, so I can't really give out too much information about that. So your experience was rather young then? Pretty much, yeah. And then accumulated probably uh, middle school, you know, close to high school, yeah. Wow, wow. Very, very fun. And it's a whole different experience to be frightened or to go and be dared and do something that you probably really don't want to do. And, you know, especially, you know, boys and stuff, they want to dare you to go up there and, 
it's like you can't say no you're like oh come on no you know and then all of a sudden you end up going out there you know and it's just like it's funny it's just, it's a whole you know little kid thing boy thing you know you're never young again so you're probably fortunate to have had that childhood experience up there it's probably why we're here today <laughs> definitely yeah definitely have a lot of I have, a, I have quite a few experiences but it, you know I can't really say much because it incorporates the movie so nice nice you're leaving us all in suspense anticipating this movie that is great so what else do you have to say um, about your influences or um, what pretty much other things scared you in life? Did you ever get into horror movie, like, or horror books and novels and stories or sci-fi at all? Or did you pretty much just stick to movies? Pretty much movies. I read a lot of sci-fi books and stuff like that. Uh, my father, he was really into sci-fi movies and stuff like that. So I got into that, too, as a kid. And, you know, my... My cousins really got influenced into the horror stuff, so I, you know, as a kid I was seeing that too, so it definitely had an influence in me a lot, and, you know, of course, you know, I, I do pay homage to a lot of directors out there with this film, so it definitely shows out. When you guys see that, you're going to you're gonna see certain things about it. You're going to be like, oh, God, you know, I, I totally, you know, see that from another director's point of view, you know, stuff like that, that's that been up there and stuff like that, you know, up, up in that level. Of directing and uh, I definitely when I come into this thing I definitely that's the way I am I, I want to pay homage to what I look up to you know with horror movies and stuff like that so I'm just a big fan you know and I'm showing my appreciation to horror movies well I have to thank you and I have to express that I was so excited to find out that somebody was finally making a movie about Hicks Road because we're in Northern California and it's a local place and many 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 scary tales are attached to that road so thank you very much for presenting us with this movie you made yeah, it definitely needs to come out, you know, I'm, I'm getting a lot of emails and stuff, responses about people knowing about we're making this movie and people that live around it, you know, they, they know about it and they want, it, they want to see it. And I think the time is coming up now where they're going to see it really soon. And um, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm so excited. I, I can't, you know, you, probably, you guys probably don't even see how excited I am, but I've been kind of keeping it low key, trying to keep it at that level right now. So. It's, uh, it's definitely exciting. It's an exciting time for me right now and for the cast and the crew, especially my camera guy, Clayton, that's filming right now. Uh, I definitely give him a lot of appreciation. Without him, it probably, this, this thing probably wouldn't even happen without him. So I definitely give him a lot of thanks. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Julian, for this interview. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, too. And that concludes my interview with Julian P. Flores.